So whenever I'm teaching a seminar on photography for real estate on the Tech Savvy Agent Tour or anywhere else, I always like to show the application Snapseed for my iPad. It's available on Android devices as well. The reason why I show that app is because I feel it's one of the easiest photo editing apps out there and it's great for real estate because you have an awesome selective adjust tool. Inevitably, the question I get after showing that app is, is it, is it available on a laptop or desktop? And it was, Snapseed was available for a short period of time and then Google bought it and Snapseed went away. And now it reappeared though, and it actually reappeared in Google Plus. So I was excited to stumble upon it, excited to see some familiar tools there. And I'm gonna take a quick minute here to show you how it works. Super easy to access your Snapseed as long as you have a Google Plus account. You go into your Google Plus account, you hit the drop down, and it's gonna take you into your photos. Now my photos automatically upload from my iPad or my iPhone device to Google Plus. You can actually set that up as an option. You don't have to do anything, it will upload your photos automatically, which is really cool. It's probably why I have so many pictures of, uh, of beer here. Um, now, I don't really have any photos of real estate listings to show you, uh, but I did have a photo of a beach scene from Hawaii the last time I was there, so we're going to use that for a moment. Uh, but if you do have your real estate photos on your iPad or on your iPhone, maybe you're using one of those um, iFi cards, which I recommended in a previous post to easily get your photos on your tablet device. Uh, but if you don't have it on your phone, no worries. We can upload them on the fly right now too. So you would just click the photo that you would like to edit. Here's a photo of my son Grant. Click the edit button and that's going to bring up the Snapseed controls here on the side of the screen. All the familiar controls are all the same controls that you guys are already familiar with. I'm not going to edit this photo of Grant here. As I mentioned, I have a photo of a, of a beach scene. Maybe you listed an oceanfront property so you want to get a great picture of the beach. I'll show you some of the cool things that Snapseed allows you to do. Now, all of the buttons here on the side are the same, uh, but what you'll find with a bigger screen, you can see if you're going too far in effect on an effect a little bit easier. So for example, the drama filter is great for real estate photos, as long as you use it with some restraint. So when you go in the drama filter, it allows you to add some really nice punch and some contrast here, but 90 strength is too far. If I go all the way up to the top, and I'm just using this slider here, and it's affecting the entire picture, notice how you can see a lot of grain. <clears throat> Excuse me, you can see a lot of grain in the photograph. So I don't want to go quite that far, but I do want to add a little bit of pop. And so maybe I'll bring that up to a 65 or so uh, and add a little bit more color in. And you can see the before and after. So just with a couple of sliders, uh, before, look kind of plain and mundane here, after, now we have a little bit of punch. So that's one great filter. But as I mentioned before, I really enjoy the selective adjust feature. The selective adjust feature allows you to add what's called a control point and I can click that, click anywhere on the image, and it's only going to affect similar color and tonality. And it makes it really easy to make a selective adjustment. So let's say I wanna increase the blue here in the sky. It seems like there's just a little bit more blue over here. It will only affect the blue. It's not gonna affect the rocks or the, or the sand down here below. And I can increase or decrease the brightness here depending on what I wanna do with that blue color, contrast, saturation again. And it's only affecting that particular area. I could add some nice texture to the clouds here, or I could go down here and, and edit the, uh, the sand. And notice how it's only selecting that portion of the sand. And we can, again, increase or decrease brightness depending on what we wanna do. Uh, contrast, saturation, really cool, really quick and easy, especially if you want to make the grass a little bit greener, you want to make the sky a little bit bluer, you want to make the property a little bit lighter for it to pop out. Uh, the selective adjust controls work very, very well. So there's a lot of other great features here within Snapseed. You used to have to pay for Snapseed on the iPad. You used to have to pay 20 bucks for Snapseed on your, on your laptop or desktop. Now it's on your iPad for free. Now it's within Google Plus for free again, and it's just a really neat tool. So go check it out.